Isaac Newton once wrote, if I have seen further, it is because I was standing on the shoulders of giants. In this video, we'll talk about people that we can thank for making this industry so fascinating and so powerful. These are the great programmers, the visionaries that made this profession the most in-demand profession of the past decades. Guido van Rossum. Yes, this is the same guy who invented Python. And if you, my friend, think that the person who created the programming language used by the hundreds of thousands of companies from garage startups to NASA should be swimming in money like Scrooge McDuck, then you will be interested to know that at the time of this video's publication, Guido works for Microsoft. However, Van Brossum continues to be directly involved in the decision-making process and, when necessary, expresses his opinion on the main features of the language and its further development. Donald Irvin Knott, mathematician, computer scientist, father of analysis and algorithms and, of course, an author. Donald has made a significant impact on computer science in general and on the way it is taught. In particular, he was engaged in the development of the analysis of the computational complexity of algorithms, and his books on algorithms and the art of programming still frighten little junior devs. In addition, he is also the creator of the computer typesetting system TEX, as well as web and C-web systems created to popularize computer literacy. John Carmack, the legend of the gaming industry, co-founder of the legendary ID Software Studio and the creator of Doom, as well as many other but less sensational masterpieces such as Rage and Commander Keen. In addition to being the father of Doom, a game that was able to hiccup the entire generation and then cure the hiccups when played again, Carmack was responsible for some innovations in the field of 3D graphics, in particular a reverse algorithm for rendering shadow volumes calculated using a fast inverse square root and also popularized some other techniques, which later became a norm for the whole genre of 3D shooters, namely ray casting, surface caching, adaptive tile refresh, binary space partitioning and others. James Arthur Gosling, Canadian programmer who became well known for inventing the Java programming language. Yes, the language beloved by the financial institutions and which has not lost its relevance after more than a few decades. But that's not all. Even before joining Sun Microsystems, James developed a multiprocessor version of Unix, several compilers and a mail system, and also made significant contributions to some other software, such as Gosling, Emacs and News, which pretty much stands in the shadow of his main creation, one of the most popular programming languages on our planet that inspired another most popular programming language on this planet. Guess which one? Niklaus Wirth is a Swedish computer scientist who made a significant impact on algorithms and programming languages. In particular, he came up with the notorious Pascal programming language, as well as Modula. Also, he was the chief architect, or rather, the chief designer of such languages as Algol W, Euler, Modula, Modula 2, Pascal, Oberon, Oberon 2 and Oberon 7. He also worked on a simulation system for the Lola language, tailored for working with hardware. David Patterson. At the time of this video's publication, he is a professor at the University of California at Berkeley. Patterson is known for his contributions to RISC or Reduced Instruction Set Computer Processors and Research of RAID or Redundant Array of Independent Disks and NOW or Network of Workstations. Alan Curtis K. Alan is known for his truly pioneering work in the field of object-oriented programming and the development of graphical user interface concepts. It is believed that he also coined the phrase the best way to predict the future is to create it. John McCarthy 
It was John who coined the term that nowadays more often than ever looks at us from the pages of science fiction novels and news reports. With this concept, John tried to unite both philosophy and science in trying to figure out whether a machine is capable of surpassing a human being and possibly even acquiring its own consciousness or whether this is an overly ambitious idea and machines will forever be destined to remain a piece of metal that is only capable of processing data, finding patterns and predicting possible outcomes guided only by the rigid calculations, never being able to comprehend the mysteries of human intuition. I'm talking about the term artificial intelligence. John also popularized the Lisp programming language and helped to develop Algol. It was him who came up with the concept of garbage collector, those trying to solve problems in Lisp, which then became one of the first programming languages used in the development of AI. Steve Wozniak Without Steve, the world would never have seen one of the richest tech companies of all times, because without this person, there would be no Apple I and Apple II computers. Steve was also the co-founder of Apple Company itself, and no matter how many people praise the genius of Steve Jobs, it was Wozniak who was the technical brain of the duo. And it was Apple II that became the world's first most successful mass-produced personal computer. Its success led Apple to an IPO in the 1980s and to new heights where it remains today. Edgar Frank Codd, British scientist best known as the creator of the relational data model. In 1970, Codd published a relational model of data for large shared data banks, which is considered to be the first work on a relational data model. In the 1980s, during his fight against unscrupulous DBMS vendors who claimed that their legacy products supported a relational technology, Edgar published Codd's 12 rules describing what a relational DBMS should contain. Codd also coined the term OLAP, or Online Analytical Processing, a data processing technique that presents aggregated information based on large amounts of data structured in a multidimensional manner. Thomas Eugene Kurtz became famous for the development of the computer language basic, main idea behind which was that people who are not experts in computers with its help will be able to program them. In partnership with John Kimeni, Kurtz founded True Basic to promote this programming language. This language has become widespread on microcomputers, allowing small cooperatives of developers, sometimes even consisting of only one person, to develop software on their own. Grace Hopper, in addition to being one of the earliest programmers on the Harvard Mark I computer, she was also Rear Admiral of the US Navy and the developer of the first compiler for a programming language. She popularized the methodology of machine-independent programming languages that led to the creation of COBOL. But in popular literature, her name is associated with the story of the first computer bug discovery, which allegedly was a real beetle that showed circuit contacts. John Bacchus, the father of the Fortran programming language, which is thought to be the first high-level programming language. He also developed the so-called Bacchus Naur form, a notation that defines the formal syntax of a programming language. In addition, he popularized the term functional programming language. Ken Thompson, a pioneer of computer science and the hacker community, but he is better known as the man who developed and implemented the Unix operating system. In addition, Ken is the creator of the B programming language and was also an early developer of the Plan 9 operating system. He worked on UTF-8 encoding and also helped to develop the regular expressions. In addition, while at Google, Ken Thompson created the programming language known as Go or Golang. Bill Gates. Despite the controversial reputation and numerous scandals, 
the contribution of this man to the development of computer science and technology cannot be underestimated. In the early years of Microsoft, Gates personally studied every line of code in the company's products. Together with Paul Allen, he wrote an interpreter for the basic language, by the way, written in assembler for a computer to which they did not even have access to, and which had only 4K bytes of memory. Brian Kernighan. Brian is best known for co-developing the Unix operating system with Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson. Brian is also the author of many Unix programs such as Cron and Dtroff for version 7. Kernighan co-authored the AMPL and AWK programming languages. He also developed a heuristics for the traveling salesman problem. And Brian is believed to be the author of the famous phrase, what you see is what you get, which generally describes the user interface. Björn Strostrup. He developed the C language with Dennis Ritchie and in 1978 began developing the C++ language, which Björn referred to as C with classes. Björn described the language, produced the first implementation and developed the basic features of the language, naturally accompanying all this with a war and peace sized book about programming in C++. Linus Torvalds, programmer, hacker, open source software adept, charismatic king of penguins with gentle feelings towards Nvidia. The man who stood at the origins of Linux and who supposedly wrote about 2% of its kernel. He is furiously promoting the concepts of open source products, which does not prevent him from owning the Linux trademark and closely monitoring its use. In addition, Torvalds developed a version control system known as Git. By the way, we have a video on our channel with the detailed story of Git and GitHub. If you haven't seen it yet, I would recommend you to do so. The link to that video will be in the description. Tim Berners-Lee, known to the general public as the guy who invented the internet. But in fact, the internet already existed, and Tim's merit is the invention of the World Wide Web, an information system where documents and other network resources are identified by means of URLs, or uniform resource locators, that can be linked by hyperlinks and accessed by the internet. This tasty and iconic topic will definitely find coverage in a separate video on our channel, so please subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And it all started in 1989, when Team proposed an information management system and successfully communicated between an HTTP client and a server over the internet. And off we go. Tim is also a key figure behind the creation of data.gov.uk, the UK government's open source project holding a vast array of data anywhere from health, education, defense to datasets like how many slaughterhouses have internal surveillance cameras and maps containing the administrative divisions of individual counties. In other words, all public statistics and the results of various polls are thrown there. If you're looking for real data sets, then data .gov.uk might be the place to go. In recognition for his work, he was knighted by the Queen Elizabeth II. Dennis Ritchie. Despite his not-so-hyped name, he made a significant impact on the development of the computer industry. In particular, together with Strausstrup, he was the creator of the C language and the Unix operating system. In addition, Ritchie was involved in creation of Ultron, B, BCPL and Multics. Alan Turing, sometimes referred to as the father of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. The man who played a key role in hacking the German Enigma cipher machine and the creator of the famous Turing test. In addition, he built a Turing machine that could adapt to solve logical problems and algorithms. Alan Turing was honored with the Order of the British Empire and also became an honorary fellow of the Royal Society. 
Despite all these merits, it didn't stop the British government from actively persecuting Turing for his sexual orientation, to the point when he was forced to undergo the hormone treatment. Unable to withstand such persecution, the outstanding scientist committed suicide with the help of poison injected into an apple, which was reflected in the famous logo of one fruit company, a bitten apple is a tribute to Turing. After his death, the Turing Award was founded, which is something like an Oscar or Nobel Prize for computer scientists. If I have forgot to mention someone, then you're welcome to correct me in the comments, but in any case, if you really love programming and are ready to grow in this difficult craft, who knows, maybe the next Turing Award will be for you, or you might even be knighted by the Queen of England. Everything is possible, but generally try to stay away from the suspicious food. That was V. Cheerio.